this whole top plate flexes, especially if you weigh more than 120 pounds. Hey guys, Nick from Taxi Garage here, and today we're going to go over our 500 watt custom upgraded neck for the Black Frame Crazy Cart. So what you'll see here, it's probably something you've noticed in all of our videos, is that this signature neck. So this right here is a fully custom upgraded CNC neck. Right here is the stock one. So you'll see the serious differences. Right here, this is a tubular neck. We've gone to a full solid plate that then has been TIG welded across the top. This was MIGged. Uh, this is great for the weight of you know a 90 pound person uh, because we've had tendencies where this point right here breaks. So as we are going through our, our development or just even having fun with riding the carts, uh, we were playing around and hitting things and crashing and uh, we've seen that point break. So this all comes with a CNC'd upper plate piece here, but then it gets TIG welded to this upper plate and then the CNC shank with then the matching threads for the factory top nut and bearing set. Furthermore, two big changes that you also see in this neck. This is a 250 watt electric motor brushed. We've gone to a 500 watt brushed motor as well. Granted, uh, we have some you know space constraints going brushless, so this has been the best option so far for a cost-effective you know deal. Another thing that we've added here is a Anderson plug-and-play sub harness. So this is something that has helped a lot of people is the fact that this is replaceable. So I probably mentioned in some of my other videos that you see where this twists around the neck as the neck spins. You can even see here on the stock one, it's all kinked and bent. So this is a common problem and fail point for the crazy cart. It's just inherent is that every time it spins, it'll slowly break the wire. Um, one thing that we've tried to also make a little bit more, you know, long lasting is that we use super flexible high wire count wire. Uh, these are the pins that go in the Anderson connector here, so that kind of you can kind of see what's inside of that. We send it like this, so you can fish it through the factory trough, and then terminate it with the Anderson connectors. Super easy, and I'll have a video on that uh, on the channel. So another thing that's super beneficial here is this this plate and axis here. Squaring that up makes the cart more stable. Uh, this piece right here and the way that the neck wobbles, um, this whole top plate flexes, especially if you weigh more than 120 pounds, which it wasn't designed for. That's why we designed this for heavier people. Um, when you'll come over here and see it installed on the cart, is that it, it utilizes your factory steering wheel, your factory headset bearings, and your factory tensioner. So all of that stuff lines up and bolts up extremely well. Uh, on my cart, since I like to jump in and do those things, I've added some outer bolts here just to strengthen up this under motor support plate. Now I want to do actually add some, you know, extra emphasis here that each one of these necks are built by hand and built for every one of these motors. Since these motors do vary in the top motor plate, some of them have a slightly different angle. So we do pay extreme attention to that because that's going to affect the performance of it. So there's going to be a support plate right here that supports the motor and keeps it from torquing. Now, we've also come out with this because it's a common problem on the XLs. The XL neck, the motor will twist and now start throwing chains. So if you have something like that, we do have a product for it on our website that will fix that problem. Super easy bolt-on solution. Uh, when you get in here, you look a little bit closer. So you'll notice I do not run covers here. We've added this Downstar hardware here just to make it look uh, fancy, you know, like almost a little bit like uh, the uh, Frankenstein kind of dude, you know, here. So that's something that's available as well. Just kind of clean up the cart, not look so incomplete. But there is a reason we don't run covers. Uh, with the high performance motor and upgrade and the heavy amount of throttle that you're going to be giving this bad boy, you want airflow coming across the motor. So airflow is important just like in any type of car. 
Uh, even when you're riding a bike, the air hitting your face is a nice thing, keeps you cool. Same concept here. The more airflow coming across the motor, the cooler, the longer you're gonna be able to ride the cart for. Wow. So once we get there, you're gonna pay a little bit more attention here to the ESC. So the ESC is our speed controller. So our speed controller bolts in the factory location. We have a little bracket here with our custom ESC. Now this is paired with the motor. This setup right here on 36 volt will do about 20 miles an hour with a 180 pound rider. Uh, if you see also it was a 48, something coming out soon for you guys, but this will make it go about 23 to 25 miles an hour depending on the surface. So all of this is a bolt on solution. It's fairly easy to do if you're mechanically inclined. Uh, you can always ask us to build the cart for you, like our stages that we do. So um, thank you for watching. I hope this answered any questions you may have, and I look forward to sending it with you.